Hi, my name is Dr. David Culler. I am not a dermatologist, but I want to dispel all these myths about acne and I want to help you fix your acne. Acne does not come from a lack of antibiotics. Uh, it comes from the flora in your gut. And when they give you antibiotics, it kills all the flora in your gut. If you're a child or were uh, given lots of antibiotics as a child, uh, you're gonna wanna hang on, watch the rest of this video because that is a huge factor with people that suffer from acne. So if you've been under lots of antibiotic treatments or um, you have bloating or stomach issues, a lot of gastritis, colitis, Crohn's or ulcerative colitis, IBS or IBD, you're gonna to wanna to watch this because if you have acne, psoriasis, or eczema, I've done videos on that, it's coming from your gut. Another name for it is called leaky gut syndrome. And don't laugh, but one of my very first videos I did about eight or nine years ago was on leaky gut syndrome. So when you watch the video, I'm gonna put the uh, link right up here. When you watch the video, uh, don't laugh at the quality, it's not the greatest. Um, but it gets the point across. And once you understand leaky gut syndrome, you'll be able to change your diet. And it's pretty simple. If the food comes out of the ground that way, you can eat it. Frozen dinners don't come out of the ground that way. Um, all that other processed food in the grocery stores and restaurants don't come out of that way. Sauces don't come out that way, okay? Does that mean you can't eat olive oil? No, you can have olive oil. It, it's minimally processed, right? So um, I go over things um, and I do a liver cleanse for people that have really bad leaky gut syndrome. But if you just clean your diet up for three months, cut out the wheat, gluten, cut out, if you can, the alcohol and caffeine, cut out eggs and peanuts because sometimes it's a problem for some people. And you can reintroduce these things later after three months cut out the dairy. For many, it's fine, but for some people, it's a problem. And it can cause things like eczema, psoriasis, um, a lot of phlegm in the throat too, if you're allergic to uh, dairy. And then the last thing I would say, the big one, is sugar. Sugar is the worst, uh, especially when we're talking about acne, right? So bacteria, which is what's in those pustules and acne, Bacteria feeds off of sugar. So why would you feed the bacteria or why would you feed your acne more sugar? Don't do it, stop it. And then also carbohydrates, processed carbohydrates. When you're eating them you're, and then you don't burn that off, that turns to sugar and it's just not good. So cut out all the processed foods and those uh, five or six foods that I had mentioned and do that for three months and I promise you, if you're really strict about it, your acne will clear up, your skin will clear up and I wish you all the best. And once it does clear up, please come back into this video, comment below and tell people, um, you know, let us know how you're doing after three months, but you gotta give it three months and you gotta be really strict about it. And you can also take probiotics. I'm not a fan of the pills, the freeze dried probiotics but you can do like a live probiotic um, in like a, a juice. I'm a big fan of Carolina's Botanicals. It's a live probiotic juice. Uh, it's a little pricey, but it's live. It's not freeze dried, stuck in a pill or in a tablet. There's my take on it. Go for that diet, change it, clear up your skin. I know it's how I did it and no dermatologist ever told me to do that. I actually had to see a nutritionist 25, 30 years ago to address my acne. I hope you can clear up your acne. Thanks for tubing in. Thank you guys so much. If you got anything from this video, or even if you just like this view of the Empire State Building and the Chrysler Building, give me a like and don't forget to subscribe. Appreciate you guys.